please do give me some freaking crazy boss yeah, yeah here we go here we go oh my god all right here we go here we go no ochi you idiot come here perfect nice there's one down there's one down what's up easy mode easy mode move 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 everyone what are you doing oh my god his tongue is so short now what the freak hey what's going on guys my name is Vlusel, and welcome back to pikmin 4 part 8 in the last episode we went back to blossoming arcadia and uh, explored a little bit more found a lot of caves but in this episode we're going to be going back and doing those caves at least like three or four and uh, we also found another leafling great job yeah let's go ahead and head into blossoming arcadia All right, here we are. We already see a cave right by the uh, home base here. And so we'll go and start off with this one. God, man, I can't get over how beautiful this game looks, dude. Look at that morning sunlight. It looks so freaking good. I don't know why, it gives me a sense of nostalgia seeing that like hazy morning sunlight, man. Dude, it's the kind that you'd see as a kid. All right, so this is Sightless Passage. A cave of utter darkness into which almost no light filters. I explored for a bit, relying on the glowing mushrooms to guide the way, but I turned back to avoid unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp at my disposal. I'm starting to regret this bargain, bye. Well, sucks for you, Olimar, but we already have a headlamp. Alright. This is our first time exploring a dark cave. And here's the exit. Okay, so it's only a one level, one sub level. No! Take him out, take him out! Oh, dude. Crap. We can ate one of our guys, man. All right, well, here we go. We got... What the heck is that? Oh, that's a freaking game. Huh. Oh, dude, I can't tell what that is. Crap. I have no idea what that is, man. Oh my god, dude, what the heck is up with this stuff? No, you freaking idiots, you're running into the electric. Holy freaking crap, man, it's just freaking chaos. Hey, look at that. That's, uh, that's a Game & Watch, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, that's a, it says Game Boy. I don't think I've ever seen that type of Game Boy. Am I uncultured? Alright, let's see what we got over here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I think I read this in a tip. I think that might be a pup tunnel. Only Ochi can go through. So let me see. Let's switch to Ochi. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I have to play as him and go through it. Okay. There we go. And so this is... Uh, <laughs> that's a little glow-in-the-dark band. This is so cool. Alright, so we have a castaway here. We're gonna have to knock this guy down with Ochi. I guess we gotta start on this. All right, so here we are with Ochi. Oh, yeah, I set my, myself over there. And so let's go ahead and knock this guy down. Nice, right, there we go. All right, here we go. Let's see that ID info. Oh, you know who this is? Hey, Yanni. Okay, so this is the doctor. So she's from Ori. A doctor who lives for discovering and solving unusual cases. He jumps at every chance to test his experimental medicine. Let's go. Alright, we found another rescue officer. Yanni is a talented doctor with a wealth of knowledge. With his skills, he can treat any injuries or illnesses that come our way. Right, right, he can see what happened with the uh, leaflings. I'll bet he can even do something about the leafling castaways. That means our pilot is the only one of us still missing. Please continue your search. Nice, man. So, yeah, you really have to explore every freaking cave. You rescued our doctor, Yanni. Let's ask him to examine a leafling when he wakes up. Our pilot Bernard might be one after all. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just like you never know. Any cave could just contain a rescue officer. Dude, that's so freaking cool, man. We also gotta watch out for treasure that's just buried underground. And Sun Speckled Terrace, there was one left. 
known as a freaking temp a potato. And so the radar is yeah getting kind of heavy over here. Yeah, right here. Okay, so this might be it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so sneaky, man. Oh, it's a freaking thermometer. <laughs> nice. There we go. All right, let's head back out. All right, we got Yanni. The treasures that we get. Holy. All right. Masterpiece playing. Micromanagement station. Hope. Poop of healing and heat sensor. So yeah, I wonder if that that actually does look like a game, right? Looks like maybe an unreleased game. Who knows? It has Japanese on it, so maybe it's something that only released in Japan. All right, nice. And so yeah, we'll just keep whatever we have. We're about to go into a new cave anyway, so. Whoa, what the heck? You weren't here before. Oh, this is a different exit. I see. Okay, yeah, I remember this from Pikmin 1. Uh, crap, I should have brought some reds out. <laughs> oh, frick. New creature discovered. All right, let's do this. Hey. Oh, wait, it's peaceful. I don't... I don't want to hurt you then. You're just chilling. Should I... Bro, I don't know. <laughs> he has a treasure. Yeah, he does. Um... All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna come back with some reds and freaking demolish this guy. Before I do that, we do have you here. I have no idea what that you are, but yeah, we'll get that going. Oh yo! <laughs> I think that's the Pikmin three. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the Pikmin three uh, soundtrack. Dude, I freaking feel so bad killing this guy. I mean, he has a treasure and I want it, but he's not hurting us. I mean, look at him. Dude, look at those eyes, man. The fur. Nice. Looks so good. I'm sorry, man. You know what? Let's try something. Oh, oh okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. All right, well, I use this. Let's go. Check him out. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, there we go. Oh my God, oh my God. I remember move. All right, go fight! What the heck? Go, go, go! Perfect! Let's go! I'm so sorry, man. I'm so freaking sorry. All right, so we do have... Yeah, we have the Donlory battle here and another cave. So I'll go ahead and do the cave first. But here, this looks awfully boss fight-ish. I don't know, this is reminding me of Pikmin 1 Snagger fights. Oh, it's a bomb rock. Oh, I, oh my god, that's so freaking helpful, man. Bomb rocks, we can find bomb rocks in the wild, but they go into our pack. Holy crap, yeah, we throw them now, too, instead of Pikmin, so there's less risk. Okay, Kingdom of Beasts. We got bull bears, so we might find Queen, Queen Bull Bear or Queen Bull Boar. Many types of bull blacks have settled in this cave. Perhaps they're building their empire. To them, I'm just a foreign invader that must be eradicated if the danger becomes unavoidable. I'll need to rely on some of the items I brought with me. Okay, so this cave is gonna have some bull bears. And bull bears are very, very, very dangerous. Let's do this! Okay, off the jump. This place looks pretty big. Here we go. I'll get some guys started on that. I'm going to explore it this way. Hey, right, look at that! Another jigsaw piece. But these guys can't go anywhere, so I'm trying to clear my path. All right, there we go. Yeah, they should be fine. I'm gonna watch them just in case. I don't want them to kill. Yo, look at that! A croissant. All right, there's the croissant. And so, yeah, radar should be going offline. All right, beautiful. All right, let's go and head deeper. God, that noise is so freaking satisfying, man. God, we've only done 16%. This is gonna be a deep cave. Oh, look at that. It's a different colored bulb orb. We have this ice wall. I think we can... Oh, we have rock pickman! 
Yo, let's go. All right, let's help him out. Let's go, man. God, I freaking love the rock Pikmin too, man. Um, could these be Pikmin too? There's no way these were mentioned in the voyage log. The rock Pikmin. Ah, the hard, rocky rock Pikmin. They break crystal walls with their stout, stout, stout bodies and tough headbutts. Survive being stepped on and can't be pierced by needles. Despite their sturdiness, they can still be crushed on hard surfaces or by some creature's teeth. So they're hard as rocks, huh? Now that I really look at them, I see how you could easily mistake this Pikmin for a basic stone. Okay, so if we're on uh, soft ground, they won't get smushed. <laughs> nice, man. I freaking missed the rock Pikmin. Alright, so let's go ahead and clear the path here. No, you guys can't do anything. What the heck are you doing? Alright, let's try and break this. We have a black paint tube over there. I don't know if it's like Pikmin 3 where if we throw them, it does more. I have no idea. Alright, going through this way, we do have you. So, let's go and charge the res and we'll throw the rock. Nice, beautiful combo, man. Freaking amazing. So, treasure radar is going off. So I think there's, yeah, something here. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a little bamboo shoot. Nice. Okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. I thought this would be on the finale. Or the final level. Here we go. <laughs> it's been a long time. Okay. Uh, let's do this, I guess. Damn! Oh my god, look at that damage. Alright, everyone, move back, move back, move back. Alright, yeah, wait for it to keep rolling. Alright, now, now, now. Let's go! Alright, much easier. <laughs> Way freaking easy. Can you go? Okay, let's see that ID badge. Alright, Universal Stylus, Puddle. Home planet from NOA. A stylus with clients all over the universe. Just say the word and he'll unleash his fashionable skills at lightning speed. Alright, we have a way to customize a character, I believe. That's cool. What is a stylist doing here of all places? He must have had a reason for coming to this planet. Curious. Well, we'll figure that out after you get him back here. Nice. Alright, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Queen Bulblex. Or Queen Bulborb? I think her name is. Much easier than last time. Or I can't remember if she was hard in the first place, but... I was expecting more of a challenge. We do have, yeah, some chips here. Nice. I wonder, so... One-sixth of time passes when we're underground, and so... Maybe, does it keep going? Or is there just a set amount? Once you enter that cave and you come back, the... That's how much time has passed. It doesn't matter how long you've even been there. It's just like, that... There will always be a specific amount of time that will pass, no matter how long you're in there. Or if it, time just keeps on going. We'll see. Alright, let's do this. Rush him. Throw everyone, throw everyone, throw everyone. No, 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 no. Whew. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We didn't lose him. Nice. Freaking whip tongue bull bars, man. Another duck. Huh. Alright, we're gonna need to lower these gates. But we do have a puff tunnel over here for Ochi. So this is gonna be a little tricky. Um, Alright, well, here we go, here we go. Take out these babies. Boy, if you don't oh, they don't freaking squish. Alright, he sees this, he sees this. Move, 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 move. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Alright, everyone, move this way. No! Frick, man, screw you. God, this is so annoying. Alright, Ochi, you go take care of the little baby. Alright, go, go, take him out. Woo. There we go. Oh my god, man. We sure have lost the guy there, man. We should not have lost the guy. That's everything here. Nice. Let's go.
Okay. Hello there. Oh god, okay. There we go. The <laughs> bull bear. I have a cucumber there. What the heck? Take him up! Ah! Alright, here we go. We have a button. Now we can go and take this stuff back. Why? What the heck? Why do some of the guys just go backwards with the raw material? I don't understand. I am like legitimately scared to take on this bull bear. I actually, <laughs> I know how tough these guys can be. And he's got dwarf bull bears with him, man. It's the hard part too. Okay, like an idiot, he didn't notice. Here we go. Move! Take him out, take him out, take him out! Let's go! Oh, he had dice cubes! Nice, alright, we got everything. Let me just get the rest of the raw material that's in this area. We will head back up. Or not head back up, we'll go deeper. Alright, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Final sub-level. Please, dude, give me some freaking crazy boss. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh god, is it? Oh my god, are we fighting Emperor Bullblaxes? Yo, I think we are. I swear, okay, they're definitely smaller versions if they are. Oh my god, all right, here we go, here we go. No, Ochi, you idiot, come here. Move, 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 move. Oh, the music, man. All right, let's get a bomb run. Move, 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 move. Eat it. Nice. I remember, I remember. All right. Rush him, rush him, rush him, rush him. Go, go, go. Charge, charge, charge. Perfect. Nice. That's one down. That's one down. What's up? Easy mode, easy mode. Another bomb rock. Throw it. Eat it, eat it. Freaky didn't freaking eat it. Move, 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 everyone. What are you doing? Oh my god, his tongue is so short now. What the freak? No! What are you doing? Oh my god, that's you! Oh my god! One of them almost died! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. Hey! That's right! Eat it! There we go. Alright, rush him, rush him, rush him! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap, man. <laughs> that was scary. Frick, man. Whew. Time to look at the ID info. Uncharted planet tourist Mika, home planet from Nitschke. A new teacher at Alayan Academy who's putting her liberal arts degree to good use as advisor to the Planetary Science Club. There's all kinds of people here. A school teacher? Did she come here as a part of an educational field trip? Oh, but then, that means other teachers and students from the school could be stranded here too. Pikachu. We better get the whole story from her as soon as we can. Dude, we have guns. So many people, man. There's all kinds of people here, man. Freaking school teachers? Imagine going on a field trip in outer space. It's crazy. Yeah, that is so cool, man. It sucks that they made the Emperor Bull Black so small. We might be fighting other sized ones, but that was cool nonetheless. All right, let's go and get this back. Looks like... I have no idea what the heck that thing is. Oh, man, what a cave, though, dude. Amazing cave. Guys, come on. What are you doing? Okay, man. We'll wait for those guys to get that back. Let's head back up. Hey, 7,000. You two are naturals at this exploration stuff, Vianochi. You've collected so much energy. I think we can fully restore the SS Shepherd. All right. So our last area. Okay. And yeah, we see there the main mission. Ask the doctor about the cure. And so we'll see what happens when we come back to our home base. Okay, got two guys and a heck of a lot of treasure. All right, so we got, yeah, bottom right portion of the memory fragment, flaky temptation, ambiguous goo, 
Anxious Sprout, Disc of Joyous Wisdom, Planetary Rubber Cutie, Sweet Stumble Knot, Cookie of Prosperity, Crew Cut Gourd, Chance Totem, and Ancient Statue Head. Beautiful work. Let's go, man. Full 100% completion. And we got freaking Rock Pikmin, man. Let's go. Okay. So it looks like it might just be midday still. We'll go and keep the 20-20-20. But yeah, okay. So a lot of time has passed. We already explored 50%. Okay, so most of the area, yeah. Uh, resolved in the caves. And so we have, so it looks like, yeah, a lot of stuff has respawned, actually. So we do have another cave. And so, yeah, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's just, let's keep this a cave exploration video. So let me go ahead and do this boundary battle, too. And we'll go and uh, explore the cave that we built the bridge at. Hey, right, let's do this. Okay. Hey, there's another one. Today, we Dandori. Tomorrow, we Dandori more. That isn't the pilot, but there's still a castaway. Better go rescue him, rookie. Yep, let's go. Here, we test Dandori. I love Dandori. You love Dandori? Alright, so this is the time limit one. We gotta get as much as we can. No, no, you freaking idiots! What are you doing? Crap! Alright, we got a pretzel here by this lava snail. Oh, no, 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 no! I freaking sent a yellow Pikmin there! Move! No! No! What have I done? Alright, alright, we need to move. We only have two minutes left. Ochi, you work on that too. All right, a minute left, a minute left. You guys, come here. We almost got everything, we almost got everything. 30 seconds. We're so close. Move, 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 move. Dude, I don't think we're gonna get this. Oh wait, we got the gold medal. Oh no, we need the freaking silver, no. No, 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 please, please. Break, dude, we're not gonna do this. Ah, dang it, man. Crap. At least we got gold. Dang it, dude. All right. Your dandri is too good. I could never beat, as I promised. Your reward, it's 30 pieces of raw material. Those are some incredible dandri skills. All right, let's get them out of here. Still can't get over how they just throw his body on the ground like that. <laughs> with all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is. But it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. We don't want them finding their way back inside that cave. Let's keep the lid closed as a precaution. Okay. Yeah, so we are reaching the time limit. And it's still midday. Okay. I guess downloading battles don't uh, progress today. So yeah, we'll get this guy back. And uh, we do have plenty of daytime left, but we are getting close to an hour. And so... We'll go ahead and stop here. Man, this area just looks... Along with the music... It's just so pretty, man. It's so beautiful. No. Why are these indi individuals turn into leaflings? There must be a reason. Another error. On the pole? We already know that reading their ID info doesn't work. For now, just bring them back with you. Oh, right, right, yeah. We have the doctor now, too, Yanni. Hopefully figure this out. But yeah, man, I... It's just so pretty, man. This game is so good. It's just so beautiful. Alright, we have everyone. Let's go on and end the day.
Okay, got a lot of people for you guys. Really excited to see what Yanni will say, though. Oh, right, yeah. Three seven thousand sparkling. We've got enough energy stored up that we should have no problem starting the SS Shepard's engine. I'll make sure the ignition is functioning properly. Eyes. We've stored up plenty of energy for the SS Shepard and expanded the radar search area. The engines are ready to go again too. Now we can take off at any time. If we could only find our pilot, until then, the SS Shepard remains grounded. Okay, so we really need Bernard. So we've got Yanni, Puddle, Mika, and a Leafling. Four freaking pup drives. A lot of skill points I need to use. And a heck of a lot of treasure, man. Just keeps on going. Beautiful stuff. Nice, 70% done with Arcadia already. Holy crap. So next episode, we might actually be done with it. And we got freaking Rock Pikmin, man. Let's go. So much done today. Hello, hello. Yanni's back, Captain. Seems like we're making progress. Well done, V. So, where is he then? We need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the forced sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. Seriously? He was out walking around at night? Here? It's ridiculously dangerous. I suppose I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it... Kingo, you didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? Hey, don't shout at me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and it was right there, so I gave it a try. Who cares? What? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Yanni was using in his experiments. No. And you never thought to mention that until now? Ugh, why do I suddenly feel very hot? No. Are you alright? Maybe you should go lie down, do lie down too, Dingo. Um. I suggest we put this meeting on hold for the time being. Nice, man. Let's go, dude. So we got so much done, man. We have some side missions that I need to report back to as well. Alright, strategy meeting? Yeah, here we go. No. You should be caught up on everything now, Yanni. According to Dingo, this castaway may just be our pilot. No. Let me think. The primary symptom is the growing of leaves, yes? If that is the case, then I believe we may be able to cure them. Problem? While stranded, I discovered a bewitching specimen called a lumic luminol? It only appears in the dark of night. Here we go. Alright. When dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high in degradative enzymes. I believe I can make a medicine out of those secretions that can break down the newly grown leaves. Real? Huh, for real? I mean, cool. But then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. Uh oh. <laughs> Alas, our friend Dingo here consumed all the sap that I previously collected. Oh my god. So New Blood will have to perform some night expeditions to harvest the medicinal ingredients for us. Oh, it's nothing to lose sleep over, except in the literal sense. <laughs> Find me later, and I'll teach you all you need to know about night expeditions. Excellent. Thanks, Yanni. It sounds like we have a solution to our leafling dilemma. Now, everyone to your stations, please. Copy that. Okay. So, next episode. Yeah, look at that. So it's a whole separate thing. Interesting. So yeah, night missions, I thought we could just stay after while we're in, like, an expedition. That's very, very interesting. Alright, but yeah, we'll call it here, man. Did a lot. Holy crap, man. Explored so many caves, and we're already at 70% done with Blossoming Arcadia. And so next episode, we'll go ahead and see what uh, Yanni has to say about the night expeditions. And we may be starting one, too. Who knows? But I think if we have the ability to start it, I'll save it until the episode after. Because I do want to see if we can finish up Blossoming Arcadia. But yeah, that's about it. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. And hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe for more videos just like this. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.